Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog. So if you like this video, come on. Sarah just yelled at me. Did I really? You said, don't start. Don't start. <laughs> because she's in the middle of getting ready. And it was, just, I blindsided her with the camera. You did. But I didn't yell. We never yell. We're sweet as pie. <laughs> Do you know what these little fruits are? They're all up in this tree. What are they? I think they're the seeds. I think they're pods of seeds. Oh my gosh. Haven't been here in a while, Bill. I just decided the Earhearts need to have their own room here. Like it needs to be like a plaque on the wall that says the Earhart Suite. Um, that would be nice. I just feel like every time I come here, I should be going to the room. <laughs> We're actually uh, going to the swan, their least favorite. Yeah. We're going to swan for dinner to our buddy Dom Ivko's favorite Italian restaurant. I think it's his favorite Italian restaurant on property. It's like a cool night. Yes, I do have everything I want to work on. Um, I didn't do a good job. Guys, today was one of those days. So you guys know this about my work is that I'm a data analyst. And today, like, a, I'm on like a last minute kind of bigger project. And it literally turned into like a file came in la late last night that we were waiting on. And it turned into like six and a half, seven hours of just like data mining and analytics. My boss, who was like, we're like co rocking this project, um, he was busy at a conference today. So then it was like all on my shoulders, which is fine. But it just meant I was like in the numbers today. So I'm like. And I, long story short, I forgot to drink all the water I was supposed to, and today's an eight mile run after, when I get home tonight. And so basically I need to drink my weight at dinner tonight. No pop, no beer. I need to get more water in me. Yeah. Because I need it. I wonder if we could hear awesome things live. I'm in the middle of rambling on about the Run Disney events because they just released medals today. And I like start to realize I'm starting to sweat in my legs. <laughs> we realize we're so conditioned to just go this way to Epcot. That we went the wrong way. Swan and Dolphin is. But also, all the way back. I also run this way. Yeah, Swan and Dolphin is the complete. We need to go all the way around now. Loop. Yeah, and we're 45 minutes until the until our reservation. Yeah. Oh okay. wait, no, that was on the, that was on the street. <laughs> Darn it! These squirrels were like going one, up the road. One on the slide, one on the phone. Yeah, and then there's one on the slide. But I saw them like going up and on the road. Guys, don't you know you have to be staying here to be going on the slide? <laughs> Where's your staying? I'm itching, I'm itching, I'm itching, itching, itching. So you guys know we're DVC members. Mm -hmm. And we, we, the root of why we bought that was so that we can, our family can come down on vacation every two years like Sarah did mm -hmm. growing up. Yeah. We wanted to Which continue that. They came down last summer, like today. Yeah. So like if you go to the end screen and you see like what we were doing today last year on It'll this be... vlog will be when they arrive. And, and so, so we're feeling like. When, before we got married and we were how old? 22? 20, we 22 when we bought? When we when we bought though. You were 23 and I was 22. So we were 22, 23 years old when we bought our our DVC. But that was really the intent, was like, we're gonna use it when we can, but really it's for the family to come down, at least until we get more points, and then we'll use it for us. This past year of going on these one-off nights, weekend trips, is because we have enough points to like make it work every two years. But now we're at a point where like, we just, we're about to get access to a whole nother year's use points. Mm -hmm. And all these races coming up, like we're not gonna be able to stay at like, at those resorts on our points because we need to save them for the big family trip next summer. Right. But I'm itching to we'll stay. Let's just buy another contract. Let's buy another contract. <laughs> okay. So hip. With the hashtag You guys want to know a secret? Two secrets. One, this is actually owned by Marriott now because it's Starwood, which is owned by Marriott. And two, I was this close to working here before we like, went on our when we were moving down here and I was looking for jobs, I had like a job in the bag here from when I worked at Marriott up in Chicago, but it just didn't work out. Peter wore the attire of the Swan and Dolphin going to a conference. Magic Band for life. Oh, Canada. This and like the beach over there is so weird because it's not technically Disney, so it's not roped off from the water. And the signage is even different. Okay. It does say no swimming, playing, or fishing. It just says beware of dangerous wildlife. <laughs> You're dangerous wildlife. Hey, look at how spooky those clouds are. All right, we're gonna go check we're out this lobby. The hard-hitting facts. 
is their movie under the stars. Oh, we're going. What's the what's the restaurant called? Because now I'm nervous. I think that one over there. I thought we were going to the one over there. That's Dom's favorite. I'm not sure if the one here, the Swan, is Dom's favorite. But oh, we're there's no. We're going to the Italian restaurant here at Swan, meeting our friends from the Great White North of Canada. It's really Canada. Il Molino. Ooh. Uh, Peter and Marion. It's always confusing when we're with them because I'm named Peter, he's named Peter. There's always like the what? Confusion. They're always fun to meet up with. There are an another set of our vacation Canadian, Canadian and cruise professionals. Yes. So they always teach us the oh ways. Oh, yes. Ooh, guys, I secretly love when we come in here because I miss working at Marriott and they always smell like a Marriott. Yes. And I want to go. I want to go back. Java bar. Did we ever tell Sarah confess? My secretly need to be in a high stress, high physical active Peter does well operational. Under but I like I do well in operational jobs, so like working front desk, getting that line through, working at Subway. Did a coffee shop, though. Never worked at a coffee shop or a bar, and I always felt like I needed to. Well and I should leave my corporate a lot of your life. white collar cubicle life and get back in get my hands dirty. Please? Sure, you can. Nothing like some swans, the swan and dolphin. I love this little like That's courtyard. Like because it says caution what floor? That doesn't matter. Oh well, I was hoping it was gonna be locked. Hopefully the seats aren't Ooh, this lights up at night. It's like a little oasis. Ooh. Ooh, I like that area. It's a smoking area which I don't like, but. She's got that song stuck so in her head. Song. I'm gonna sit down and hope that my behind doesn't get stopping. We sat at this little cozy nook for Guys, a bit. I'm having hard flashbacks to my love for Marriott's. Mm. Look at these fuck and these crystals. And look at these high columns. Oh, they're so close in this nice marble stone top. Carolyn is not gonna it... like you for liking this so much. I like the area as a business hotel, not as a vacation Disney World location. What? Are they allowed to do that? I mean, this is like all fun. Wait, there's a raft raft race? Uh, cool. So this is like not Disney recreation, but... No. But it's still awesome. Yeah. Sarah can't take the suspense. I We're looking at this little like display of all the restaurants, and I'm fairly certain Dom's finger just Todd English's Blue Zoo, but Sarah's like, you know what? I'm just gonna call him. Hello. Good, how are you? I had a question about your favorite restaurant at either the Swan or the Dolphin. You have a, a restaurant that you really like. It's either at the Swan or the Dolphin, I can't remember. What, what one is it? Yeah, that, okay, yeah. We're eating there for dinner tonight. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Secretive. I'm switching my rest day from Friday to tonight because we got home later than I expected and then I'll run tomorrow morning and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. I have a weird Florida thing that just happened to me. There was a pile of five snails on our lawn and I stepped on them and I don't know where they came from. Think of and Gary the snail. And there was a crunch. Gary. You just crunched Gary. I was out walking Eve and no I heard a crunch. And I looked down, there was, it wasn't just one snail. There was at least five. But look at this cool butter knife we just got. It could be any knife, it would be a spreadable, edible. Pineapple knife. Yeah, so nice. So oh, this is from Marion and Peter. They, sometimes if they see little like trinkets, doodads. And this is something else I knew we'd love. Christmas tree. They weren't sure if we love it. And the or thing they. is. No, they, they knew, but then they were just like. Nervous. A Christmas Story, the party game. I'm so excited. And it's a two player. All right, here's the board. I literally have no idea the context of the game. There's a start and there's an end. Start, 
and and there's like quotes and there's activity cards and look at these figurines I can't put my arms down I wish he wasn't in the bunny costume but I also appreciate that I know I know so we might end up playing this as early as Friday but we shall see oh no she's gonna spill it Eve tell them what happened yesterday you wanted the ice cube and you clawed at the cup and when you clawed at the cup you spilled that entire cup everywhere but it's okay cause you're cutie and it's just like that just like that yesterday Eve got her ice cubes Eve yeah don't go by the water she hates water but she's got her ice cube right yep you're the cutest. I'm not even mad. I should probably clean this up now. Alright, Eve's little little flood there is all cleaned up. And uh we're gonna go to bed. Are you kidding me? You can see her sure. <laughs> That's Eve. I just made a fresh cup of water. And she's trying to get the ice cubes out. There's still ice cubes on the ground. You just knocked this whole thing on the ground. Eve. Watch, she's gonna bite it and it's gonna fall. It's the 24th. And today is by Fabian Fredrickson. The things you are passionate about are not random. They are your calling. Oh, I love it. Now, now, it's time for red. He was still looking at should the cup go, of water. Should we go to the Disney park tomorrow? I don't know. Or should we get a voodoo donut? <laughs> I did say I want to go to Universal. Oh, my mind's a churning. We'll Tell see. us down we'll below see. what what voodoo donut we should go to. Also, we and there's only one voodoo donut in the area. What kind of donut we should get from voodoo donuts? Uh, Put a comment down below. You choose our fate. <laughs> it's good to be home. Maybe we'll see if we go there. Maybe it's good to be home. If we, you know, maybe we do. Maybe we don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't. My glasses. It's it's good. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>